Charlotte Flair has reached a point in her career where she truly has nothing left to prove. It's true, my lord, but Charlotte defines herself as excellence and refuses to give anything less than that when she is standing in the middle of the ring. Absolutely, Byron. Jumps her to the outside. Taking this match off the mat now. Chop and now tying up the leg straight to the knee. An effective attack to the leg can hurt everything from balance to mobility, it can drastically limit you inside the ring. Oh, nothing fancy with that boot. Ooh, what a forearm club! Stops Ripley's attack. Lock it in the drill. Just how much fight she's got left. Placing them into the corner. Boom, right to the midsection. She adjusts it and reverses it. Decimating the knee. No, no, no. Flint shot cross body. That was ridiculous. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Few competitors can say they match up evenly with Charlotte Flair in terms of both size and physicality, but Rhea Ripley is one of those few. With that in mind, Corey, what do you think Charlotte needs to do to solidify an advantage over Rhea? Charlotte simply needs to do what she does best, dominate and impose her will. Ripley's a tough cookie, but plain and simple, she's not the queen. If anything, Ripley's aggressiveness might just bring out even more in Charlotte. And if that happens, I can't wait to see it on four. The Queen absolutely imp Will it be? Powers out! This is amazing! Hey. Oh my! Dragon screw! Into the ankle breaker. Charlotte now showing off her wide arsenal. Oh, yeah, the Queen is asserting her dominance on Ripley, and it is a sight to behold. Max hey. Slam with some attitude. This could end it all. 